Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today i Dollar Tree Makeup Challenge. Uh, I'm only using tools and everything that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm completely having like a flashback to my teenage years because just recently in the past few years that I start using like facial brushes and doing like all the special things like I got married just a little bit over three years ago and on my wedding day I'm pretty sure I applied my foundation with my hands and I didn't even feel in my eyebrows so I have learned a lot about makeup since you know just a few years ago but this is like reminding me of my teenage years especially and if I got a makeup product I used whatever little sponge or applicator came with it so this is just really taking me back and I'm excited to get started. Now at my Dollar Tree that we went to, there was no foundation, no concealer, nothing. But luckily my mom had already bought me some of the Sassy and Chic CC and BB creams from the Dollar Tree. So these were from the Dollar Tree. Uh, so I already knew I had them on hand. And as far as the concealer, um, it's just not happening. So I did get some of these little sponges from from the Dollar Tree and so I'm going to use those to apply my foundation because I just can't stand the thought of using my hands. Can't do it. So I think I'm going to use the, doesn't really matter, I'll just use the CC cream. They're the exact same color which is stark white. I'm not even joking. Like I'm pale but this is seriously the color that we're going with. So yeah, there we go, and I dampened these sponges to see if it would kind of work somewhat like a beauty blender, and look at that, it is like frosting, but I felt like with it wet, I might be able to get a better application with them, and uh, yeah, not so sure about that now. This stuff does not really want to blend very easily. It's like a paste almost. There's not much coverage, but I'm going to work with it. Okay, the sponge is just not working. I'm just going to have to go in with my hands and see if that does any better. That's so sweet, Bubby. Okay, so that pretty much has zero coverage, so I'm going to go in with the BB cream and see if it's any better, even though it's the same exact color. See if maybe by some chance it has better coverage or if layering them does something other than make me look like a vampire. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. This is just so bad. I feel like I'm putting lotion on my face right now. Who is this white? Like, I am pale. Do you see me compared to my walls? This is ridiculous. Like, there's no one. That's right, baby. You tell them. But their kid, like, who do they think they're making this for? Okay, so after two full layers, there's still basically no coverage. And I feel like a sticky mess. But this is where I'm stopping. I'm not putting any more on. Uh, next, I'm going in with the LA Colors Pressed Powder in Nude. This was the lightest shade that they had, which is way too yellow for me, maybe. But maybe on top of this, it'll kind of even it out. And this is the little flimsy, foamy thing that it comes with, but they didn't have any face brushes. It doesn't even, like, pick up the product evenly. It, like, goes in, like, one spot. But I'm just going to go in with it and see what happens. Okay, so this powder was really my best friend. It was my saving grace, I think. It matched my neck and my face perfectly on top of that foundation. And it's actually not a bad powder with a better applicator. And obviously on top of something that was not what I had on my face. But yeah, so that's kind of... That kind of worked. So I'm going to move on to the brows and I got the Ellie Colors Eyeliner Brow Pencil and it come with two, but I guess they're the exact same color. Um, it said dark brown, so yeah, they look exactly the same. So I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna get my mirror up here. And I'm just gonna start filling in my brows. 
Moving on, I'm just going to leave the brows there for now. I think I'm going to move on to the eyes and come back to the face and kind of let this sit for a while and see if it settles. Um, so for the eyes, I got two, no, three different palettes. I got the Color Mates, uh, I think it's 12 eyeshadows. Yeah, 12 eyeshadows. Um, and what was the color of this? I took the paper off and now I can't remember. I think it was something Oasis, but I'm not 100% sure. I said in my vlog. Um, so that's what we're working with. And I'm just going to take this big concealer brush that I got. And I'm going to take this lot of shade here. And I'm just going to kind of... I've never tried these. So I don't know how well they work. But I'm just going to kind of lay this down as a base. And... Yeah, that's not working at all. Okay, so next I'm going into this LA Colors palette in Playful. Oh, let's tape together. Okay, and I'm just going to take this shade here. Uh, and I'm just going to use the little spongy thing that comes with it. And I'm going to try to use that as some kind of like a transition color. Oh my gosh, this brings back so many memories, these little spongies. The pigment on this really isn't bad. Actually, this is pretty good eyeshadow. Okay, so the pigment and blendability is really there. So I'll be anxious to use this with my good brushes. I'm just taking the clean, small eyeshadow brush. Uh, from Wet n Wild that I got and just kind of blending this. Okay, and now I'm going to take this shade here and I'm just going to use the spongy thing again and I'm just going to work that just in my crease to kind of deepen it a little. Especially like on this outer corner. Okay. Now I'm going into the LA Colors Trio in Sunflower and I'm going to take this center bronzy shade and I'm just going to use my finger and I'm going to apply that to the lid. Okay, now I'm just going to take this small brush and I'm going back into this palette and taking this lightest shade and I'm going to kind of put it up on my brow bone for a highlight. Okay, I want to darken up this outer corner, so I'm going to go into this and grab this darkest, darkest burgundy shade. And just again using the little spongy thing that goes with it. And I'm just going to kind of try to deepen this outer corner. Okay, now I'm going to take one of these gray shades whichever one's darkest, I can't really tell. And I'm gonna take that and add just a little to this outside corner to put some other colors other than the pinkies and orange in there. Okay, so there's the eyeliner, not eyeliner, eyeshadow. And it's actually not too bad. I feel like with my normal brushes, I could really work with these. Uh, there was some fallout, so I'm going to take that powder again and just kind of re... Look at this. This is horrendous. Um, but I'm just going to kind of sweep up under my eyes to do some cleanup. Okay, and I'm going to leave my eyes there for now. And I'm going to move on to the rest of my face. Now, in the same powder, LA Colors Press Powder, but this is in tan, uh... I'm going to try to use this to contour, and for this, I'm going to, because I had no brushes, I'm going to attempt to use the spongy wedges, so wish me luck with that. So I'm just going to dip it in here, and I'm going to try to carve out some cheekbones, run that down the sides of my nose. I do. Okay, so moving on to bronzer. I'm using the LA Color Bronzer in bronze. And I'm going to uh, use this itty bitty 
itty tiny 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 little brush that comes with it. This is this is comical. <laughs> and I'm just going to Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. I'm just going to try to bronze my face up ever so slightly. Okay, yeah, this brush ain't working. I'm moving back to a sponge and see if that does any better. Okay, so my skin looks horrendous right now, but I'm just going to keep going and I'm going to move on to eyeliner. And I got the Ellie Colors Auto Eyeliner in black and I'm just going to go in with that. And my face still feels so sticky and slippery and it's just really bad. But eyeliner, I feel like I can do this. Okay, so there's the eyeliner. It's not awful. It's not great. It's just kind of like, it's not very black. Oh, sorry, hold on. Um, but, you know, it's eyeliner. Um, I'm going to go in with this gray shade up here again. With one of these spongy brushes and just kind of smoke out this bottom lash line. And just kind of give it a like it's supposed to look messy look. Now I'm going to go in with the blush and I have the LA Colors blush in Berry Plum. I thought I want to take this little itty bitty brush and start applying this to my cheeks. It's a very pretty color and I think the blush itself would be good. But why they even put these brushes in here, I don't know. Like, I remember doing this. I remember this was how I put my blush on. And it's sad. Okay, so they didn't have any highlight. So I'm going to go into this palette and get this light shade. My baby's so upset right now. Um, but I'm going to get this light shade on this little brush. And I'm going to try to sweep that across my cheekbones. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the Ellie Colors Mascara in black and apply that. Okay, so lastly I have this uh, Wet n Wild Lipstick in Dark Wine in there with the lid and it's basically just a dark deep red. Okay, so this is the finished look, and I look scary. My skin looks horrendous. This is so patchy because of the brushes. The lipstick is really pretty. The eyeshadows aren't bad. I just couldn't get them blended. The brow pencil isn't bad. The mascara sucks. The eyeliner isn't any good, and the face product uh, BB cream wasn't any good. The powder seemed okay. The blush is really pretty if I could have had it blended. The bronzer seemed okay. Okay, so that was it guys. I had to wash my face and get it off because it was feeling like glue and I had to wash it like six times. So if you see those BB or CC creams, stay far, far away. <laughs> but I hope y'all enjoyed. I love you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I will talk to you soon. Bye.